There's definitely something fishy going on in the menu kitchen today. I've got Lake Harvest with me and we're doing 30 ways to enjoy tilapia. I'll be joined by Kuziva in just a moment to show you how to gut, to scale and to clean their whole round fish. So I'm with Kuziva. Hi Kuziva. Hi Tessie, how are you? I'm well, thank you so much thank for coming. You. Thank you for having me. Good. So we're doing something fishy, right? Yes. And you're from Lake Harvest. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about Lake Harvest. Okay, so Lake Harvest is the largest tilapia fish farming um, company, in, company Zimbabwe. in Zimbabwe. Definitely. And we farm our fish in Lake Kariba. Wow. Yes. So, so this is fresh fish. This is fresh fish. Fresh caught fish. fish. From Kariba, the Beautiful. famous Kariba breed. Wow. So today what I'm here to do is to show you how to to scale our fish, to scale, how to gut it, gut it, some atum, okay, and then how to clean it, how to clean it. So, um, this is because we now have a new line okay. in our in our portfolio uh -huh. that is the whole round breeze. Okay, I just need you to say that again. You've got a new line mm -hmm. that you're introducing to the market. Yes, this is the whole round. Whole round. Please explain a bit. What does whole round mean? Okay, so when we say whole round, we mean dinema tumbo. Dinema tumbo. Lake Harvest is known for fish dinenge zaka tumbo. Yeah. Which means we've got the gutted ones, ones, the clean mm -hmm. ones. Those yeah. are gutted. Uh -huh. really clean. That's our normal line. Uh -huh. And we now have this new cheaper line uh -huh. that is in a matumbo. Okay. So if you find them in our shops or uh -huh. in major supermarkets uh -huh. nationwide, uh -huh. and it's red. It's okay. not like the normal blue one. Uh -huh. It's red and it's written in a matumbo. Okay. And so it's written at the top of the label. So you need to look for Lake Harvest, yes. a red label, not the blue one. Uh -huh. That's the new line the whole round. Yes. So why the whole round? This is cheaper. It's cheaper. And I some love people it. prefer to gut their own fish. Perfect. Yes. You were telling me a story so, about Zambians and how they do not understand when you gut it for them. <laughs> What's that story? Just tell us a bit. Zambians prefer fish that is ungutted. Okay. Not the ones that are gutted. Okay. People have different preferences. Okay. That's what they prefer. It's my Zimbabwe. And some of us prefer Zagatumbo, some prefer this now. Yeah, because this looks fresh. So to me, when I do it myself, I'm thinking, wow. Yes. This is see? so fresh, eh? Yes. But so, Lake Harvest is known for freshness. Yes. Right, so tell me, let's do. So, so what are we doing now? Today I'm going to show you how to um ungut these ones. Because oh. if you see, Zaka Fari Kapa Apapa. And it is. So I'll Just show you how the... to. Just by the belly here. Uh -huh. So I'll show you how to open up the belly yes. properly okay. and how to cut it up, how uh -huh. to clean it out. Uh -huh. Yeah. So most of these fish, when you find them in supermarkets, are in garlic frozen. Yeah, definitely. So when you want to cook them, you should put them in water, room water temperature. Okay. No, room temperature Perfect. water. Okay. Leave them in there for about an hour or two mm -hmm. so that they defrost. Can I do that in the microwave? Please? No, you can't. Oh, in the wow. microwave, the problem <laughs> now is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm microwave. Yeah. They are going to burst my intestine. Ah, nice. And then you're going to have the sour taste. Huh? Oh yeah, because we still them. have that silver lining inside. Yes. Oh, so cool. you have to do it in such a way that they thaw on their own. Okay. And then so, you can clean them out. Zimbabwe, remember, you put them in lukewarm water, not in the microwave. Okay, now let's do that. Okay. So with our fish, um one when, when they are closed like this, uh -huh. you just need a knife, a sharp knife, knife. Uh -huh. sharp knife. You look for this opening Small here. Small opening, a little yes. hole on the center. On the center really right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So okay. you're just going to put in your knife. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't go all the way in. Otherwise, oh, you're going okay. to press it into some cutting. Okay. And then you're just going to open, open it Perfect. gently. Wow. Yes. Okay. So. So this is Kuzila. She's showing us how to open the whole round fish, which is their new line at Lake Harvest, the cheaper line. And it's for those who prefer to remove the intestines, matumbo vega, in the comfort of your own kitchen. Just like the way we do it right here on the menu. Okay. So, like I said, you're putting in your knife there, mm -hmm. and then you're just going to gently open, open it up like Perfect. that. So now it's open. Yes. Perfect. And just, so it's just, just about um, a, the small opening? Yeah, it's a small opening. Okay. When you get to it, the, there's a bone here, mm -hmm. so you can't stop go Stop at the further. bone. Yeah, you stop, stop at the, at the bone. bone. Yeah. Okay. So um, you can do this over a sink or in a bowl, okay. and you can just you just have to pull out gently pull out the intestines. Ah, we are really trying gently. not to not to we're trying not to burst them. To burst them. So please be gentle. Ah, I like gentle. Okay. And just make sure you pull out everything. So it's a I know bit people messy. eat uh, matumbo for chicken and 
mombe to be it matumbo for fish no matumbo for fish no oh that's interesting now cuz i was going to be frying those no we sell this to a company that feeds them that puts them in feed for um crocodiles huh? yes okay. so these are not for humans these are for crocodiles so be very weary about yes. that okay. so um once all of your intestines are out yeah it's cleaned out like that mm-hmm. still a bit messy okay. so you just have to wash it up so we now need some cold water yes. so as we get back we'll be back in just a second okay so we've got the whole round from lake harvest and kuzila is showing us how to open up the fish and then mm-hmm. clean it up yes yes so um cleaning up my fish you just have to be gentle mm-hmm. and make sure you don't bruise any of the skin okay so this is just with the tip of your fingers yes just Perfect. use the tip of your fingers uh-huh. and then there's this silver lining inside okay. and you can just show it to the camera yes yep there's a silver, there's a silver lining. lining inside that mm-hmm. you have to remove okay so that you don't get that bitter taste oh yeah oh yes. yeah okay so once your fish is clean uh-huh. i can now show you how to descale it okay so uh-huh. when you're descaling your fish you need to make sure that you've got a clean knife okay and here's our clean knife thank you so much welcome and you need to scale at an angle okay. so that you don't splash it. splash it all over yeah because place and you're not when i messy. started doing this the whole sink and the whole kitchen will be full it of it gets too messy it's so <laughs> can i show you how to hold your Please. knife so i'm going to show you how to hold your knife when you're holding it make mm-hmm. sure you put your thumb there and okay. you, you're going to scale it at an angle wow so let me remove this from here okay and use a different plate Please I'll take that for me. for you thank you so once you're holding your knife properly, uh-huh. you're scaling at an angle yep. in such a way that when you scale, you're holding the scales. Oh, that I way see. you don't become messy ah. and you don't splash the scales all over the place. You learn something new every yes. day, don't you? Yes. Wow. So you keep going like that and up until you're done scaling the whole fish uh-huh. and you turn on to the other side. Wow, okay. Yes. So this is the whole round from Lake Harvest. Be sure to get it in your local supermarket, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Every local supermarket. And we've got a shop along Simon Mazzoro's Yes. By Rothmans. By Rothmans along Simon Mazzoro's yes. But I often get this at my frozen food section in my local supermarket. Yes. And it's fresh. Yes. And it's just the way we do it here on Lake Harvest and the menu. So in this segment, what we did is we defrosted mm-hmm our whole round which is the new line from lake harvest yes. so we defrosted it then we scaled Scale it, it and nope. then we, we gutted it first then yes. scaled it yes. and now we've cleaned it yes and can you just look at how clean and fresh that looks it is super fresh yes it is super so fresh. um we have a recipe uh-huh. book at lake harvest called 30 ways to cook tilapia wow this is available at our simon mazorade shop wow and the chef and is going to chan? no wow so you get it when you purchase <laughs> when you purchase something at wow. our shop yes. wow, that's so the beautiful. chef is going to take you through one of the recipes Definitely. and i'm just going to wait and enjoy the meal thank you so much Kusila. thank you so much for having me chef. <laughs> so i was with Kusila and she showed us how to scale defrost gut and remove all the dirt inside the fish so that we have this beautiful cleaned fish and what i like about the lake harvest fish is that it's very very fresh you can see it when you open it up just yeah the beautiful redness shows freshness and then the eyes just show you that this is a beautiful and fresh fish so what i'm gonna do with this fish is to remove The tiny bits that are here, the fins, right, both sides, because I like mine without, but if you rather have them there, that's totally up to you, right. So I would leave my tail on. I know a lot of people would rather remove that, but for me, it's so perfect. So what I'm trying to do right now is to just score my fish, just little cuts, not very deep. This helps me when I'm frying my fish because I'm going to be deep fat frying this fish and I'll be making a deep fat fried fish with ginger and lime sauce. So, the other side as well. Remember not to cut it through, just 
a slight scoring on the flesh of your fish, just like that. Then I'll put this aside. I think I'll have two. This is how delicious they are. I can actually have this all by myself, you know? All right. So, perfect for when you're on a diet. And I know fish is something that even most vegetarians could consume.